feeling sick and we pray Lord that now you prepare our ears and our hearts to listen to your word in Jesus Christ our Lord. That before we, we go into details, when it started raining, I started complaining, but God, you are not fair. You know that we are meeting in tents, and you know what happens when it comes. God, you are not fair. Then another voice came to me and told me, Bossa, you are wrong. God is always fair. And he repented, he said, God, forgive me. God is fair always. Amen? Amen. And is fair even today. You know, sometimes it brings tests to test our faith. Can people come to church and worship me, even in such weather? We want to appreciate you for having that faith that you can even come today in such weather to worship the Lord. May the good Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the Lord. John chapter 3. Remember we are looking at Jesus being raised. And as we look at Jesus' resurrection, we also ask ourselves, is it worth it to believe in Jesus Christ? Hello? John in this text is making four clear points and I'm going to talk those four clear points which prove that it is worth believing the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you love him? Is your faith strong? Is it deep rooted? Amen? Amen. So John is bringing four points as to how we should believe in Jesus Christ. First, Jesus came from heaven. Jesus has heavenly origin and is above all. He has heavenly origin and is above what? Oh, we can read verse 31 says there the one who comes from above is above all the one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth however the one who comes from heaven is above what all all what took place around Jesus indicated that he came from heaven. The way he was conceived. The virgin conceiving. This is not something simple. It cannot be done mechanically. It is a divine thing which happened to the virgin Mary. Amen. And even after his birth, what happened? What took place? Feeding a thousands of people, healing the, 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 the sick, raising the dead. Somebody who is ordinary like a person, I can't do those things. When it came to his death, because it does not belong to us, for us who belong to us, we die, we are buried. But for him, he went there, he stayed for only three days and he came out. Praise the Lord. He came out. He tested the sea. For us who belong to, the, to this world, to the earth, when we go there and we try to walk on it, we draw. But for him, 
He walked on it. Amen. He does not belong there. He belongs to heaven. He has heaven in it. Praise the Lord. And that is why he's here. He's there. Seated at the right hand of the Father. And those ones who believe in him, one time he will come and take them home. This world is not our home. We are just passing through. Amen. Amen. Those who believe in him, he will come one day and he will take us home. Amen. Because we have an attachment, we are connected to the Lord. Jesus Christ. It is affirmed in some of the texts like John 1.14. John 1.14 says, The eternal word became fresh and dwelt among us. They can't write about Kasasa like that. Okay, but here they are saying eternal word. In the capital letters, eternal word came and dwelt amongst us. Amen. He has heaven in it. Holy. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. And also Ephesians 1 20 to 22a. Paul says, Ephesians 1 20 to 22 says that after God raised Jesus from the dead, he sat at his right hand in heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come and put all of things in subjection under his feet. Amen. And I told you those ones of the first service that because he came from heaven and he has all the power, he was given all the power and authority. His power goes beyond the borders. Amen? Goes beyond the borders. He's above us. He's above our rulers. Above, above our kings. If we, we, Jesus was only belonging to Baganda, we would be having only Baganda here. Kakeko, Kasasa, Bosa, full stop. But because Jesus is above even our tribes, we are here, Solomon, Wemba, Susan, and all of us. Praise the Lord. He brings us together as brothers and sisters, uniting us together because we are all created in His own image. Okay, before Jesus, there is no Acholi, uh, 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 there is no Muganda. We are God's what? Children. Praise the Lord. That is the one we believe. And first Peter. First Peter 3, 22 says that Jesus is at the right hand of God, having gone into heaven after angels and authorities and powers had been subjected to him. If he has all the powers, if he has all the authority, where do you want to? Amen. You believe him because his origin is from above. But he loves you. He cares for you. Amen. 
is above you. But also near you. Is around you. He sees beyond your abilities. Praise the Lord. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. And it does not, it does not stop there. But also, Jesus has a heavenly message, divine message. That is number two. Number one, he has a heavenly origin. Number two, from the heavenly origin, he comes with the heavenly message for you and me. That is John. We can read John 3, the text we have taken, the gospel, 3, 20, uh, 3, 32 to 34. 32 says, he testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. 33, the man who has accepted it has satisfied that God is truthful. For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God gives the spirit without limit. Jesus has heavenly message, but because it is heavenly, it is divine, so many people don't accept it. Apart from those ones who are connected to him, they are the ones who accepted the heavenly message. But let me tell you, the heavenly message is message of hope. Amen? The heavenly message is message of redemption. The heavenly message is message of restoration. The heavenly message is message of encouragement. And Jesus has that heavenly message for you. Accept it or reject it. Hello? And therefore, from these verses, we are seeing, verse 32a, Three things are found in these verses. One, Jesus' testimony regarding heavenly matters is true. Is what? True. Not false. Because himself is the eyewitness. I'm just imagining one time, we send the head of Leite to go to president. And then he comes with good news. The president has said he's going to construct our church in one week. Is it possible? In one what? Week. Because he has gone there and we have not gone there, we have to accept. And day after we demand him, the president gave you our good news. What is happening? Jesus is the eyewitness. He had the Father. He was with the Father. He came with good news of hope. Praise the Lord. So now I demand him. Jesus, you came with the good news of hope. Where is hope? I am hopeless. But in you there is hope. In you there is restoration. I'm lost, but please, I am here. Find me, my Lord, Jesus Christ. He has a message for you. Amen? He has a message for you. He has a message for my brother Solomon. Yes. Maybe things are not working well. People are not coming to, for meetings. But you came out and said, my wedding is taking place. Okay. The message is, because what you are doing 
is a Christian thing, it will be done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hello? Two, you cannot judge the truthfulness of Jesus' testimony. By just taking a poll, you cannot. That is what uh, John 32, 33 says. We can we continue to read there. Part B of 32, but no one accepts his testimony. The man who has accepted it has satisfied, satisfied that God is truthful. Amen. So you cannot. And first of all, Jesus is big, he cannot fit in your head. You cannot understand him to the fullest. We have just a small percentage. So you cannot judge his truthfulness because he's bigger than you. If you cannot understand the president, maybe even in oh, David and Bosa is very small. If you can't understand him fully, if my wife, whom I stay with 24 7, she cannot understand me fully. Who are you to understand God? Jesus Christ and judge his truthfulness. Just believe. Amen. And one time I told you that things of Jesus. They are parallel to thinking of the scientists. Scientists say, prove I will believe. Okay? Prove I will what? Believe. But things of Jesus we say believe, I will what? Prove. Parallel. Okay? Believe. I will what? Proof. So as a Christian, do what? Believe. In the truthfulness of the Lord Jesus Christ, he will prove. I believe in him and he has proved. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. He, Jesus' testimony regarding every matter is true. Regarding heaven, the matter is what? True. If he says, I will come back, he will come. If he says, come to me, all of you who are burdened, I will refresh you. He does it. Amen? True. If he says, those ones who are hopeless, Come to me. I will restore your hope. It is true. Amen. So please come to him. His heavenly message. His message concerning the heavenly matters is what? True. Why? It's Jesus. That is what 34 says. Verse 34. So, Jesus has heavenly origin, but he also has heavenly message for you. Those who don't believe in him, they cannot understand it. Believe in him, you will understand it. Amen? Three, Jesus has heavenly authority. That is verse 35. Jesus has heavenly authority. He says, the Father loves the Son and he has given all of things into his hands. All, all things. All things. What are you thinking of? Whatever you are thinking of, the Father has given 
given he into his hands. Amen. And if he has given it to, to, to him, if he has given all to him, and he's down with he's telling us, please come to me, all of you are well and burdened. Those ones who are lacking, I will bless you. He has all. To whom can we run to? Jesus Christ. Amen. For all. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. You want the way, is the way. You want somebody who does not deceive, is the truth. Others can, can deceive. You want life, is the life. And he says, I've come for you to have life and have it in abundance. Amen? And I've told you that his authority goes beyond the borders. Goes beyond our tribes. Praise the Lord. Is what? Authority. That is why we are here as brothers and sisters. Love him. He has authority over your life. He can say be. He can say no. Amen? He can promote, he can make a door for you, even where there is no door. That is our Jesus. Praise the Lord. I've seen him opening cross the doors. Cross the doors for Bosa. He can open that cross the what? Door because he has authority. Just say, please, here is my daughter. The door get opened. It will get opened for you because he has authority. Amen? Amen. Put up your hand and say, Jesus, Jesus. in your authority, Jesus. do it for me. It for me. Amen? Amen? So you will continue praying like that in all of the matters you have. Say, Jesus, in your authority, please open this door for me. Amen? And let me tell you, Jesus does not lie. That is why Matthew 28, 18, Matthew 28, 18 says, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Remember John 3, 35 has said, God has given everything in his hands. Okay? And here he saying, All Authority has been given to me, not only in heaven, but also in what? I can determine your fate. I can determine your destiny. Amen? And that is, that is what number four says. Four says, they are four. Your destiny rotates on believing in Jesus Christ. Verse 36 says, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever rejects the Son will not see life. For God is what? Remain his own him. Your destiny rotates on you believing in Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember we have said he has heavenly what? Only king. He has heavenly message. He has heavenly what? Authority which goes beyond the borders. And finally, you believing in him can determine your destiny. Amen. Don't believe him. in him, you will never see life. You will suffer on earth and also in heaven. You know, there are some people who are on earth thinking that they enjoy it, but it is suffering. You take alcohol, suffering. You don't come to, to church, pressure, 
For us, when we come to church, there is hope. Amen? There is what? Hope. There is joy. You think that maybe joy is in wives? You marry so many. Yes. They are saying you die, you die what? And the more you, you, you if you, you get one, and you suffer from headaches. Okay. What is when you have so many? You leave this trouble, but then you go to another burden, you go to another what? Burden. Why don't you concentrate on that one from God in Jesus' name? Praise the Lord. He has heavenly authority, and you believing in Him determines your destiny. It is my prayer that one time, as he comes back, he will find, find you in that rightful place and he will take you home. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you will have life forever. If you are somebody like a regular person who is struggling on earth, better love Jesus. Better love what? You are here on earth, you are suffering. At least you suffer on earth and enjoy in heaven. But if you don't believe in him, you will suffer on earth and suffer in what? Devil. I don't want to risk. By the way, even if these things are not there, okay? Even if I'm saying, even if they are not what? They. Okay. I, I don't make any loss. I've not risked to suffer any what? Heaven. Hello? Hello? Heavenly origin, heavenly message of hope, heavenly authority, he has authority over your what? Life, and he can determine your what? Yes. Why don't you believe in him? Why do you run to others? Why don't you seek for him? Why don't you serve him? Hello? Why don't you love him? Why can't you say today, Jesus, I know you. And today you are my Lord. I want to test that life you have, uh, have spoken of. Let me read it as I wind up. The last verse. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever rejects the Son will not see life. What you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are going through, if you don't believe in him, it is a fallacy, a lie. It is not life. There is life beyond that. Why don't I stop here? May the good Lord bless you. As you believe. Let's stand up and we pray. I want you to take a moment of silence yourself. Take a moment of silence yourself. Talk to him. Because you know he has a heavenly message for you. He has authority over your life. He can determine your destiny. Pour out your heart to him. And decide to believe in 